Guys, I haven't said this in quite some time. Today, we're checking out a pair of Nike shoes that I'm actually excited by. Been a minute, let's get on with it. Okay guys, so here is the box. Here are the shoes in question. These are the Nike Air Zoom Infinity Tour. These are the NRG Endless Pursuit limited release to the masters and uh, and they come in this very nice orange nike box this is kind of the box now that we are sort of known to expect from uh, from nike when it comes to their releases sometimes the jordan ones they kind of have their own jordan box but uh, i feel like the nike golf releases we get this orange box which i like i like the orange box so uh let's flip this open let's have a little look together open these up and here we go i am actually pretty excited about this particular pair of shoes okay so retailing for 179.99 here in the uk uh, at least that's what they are on nike's website these are as i've said the brand new air zoom infinity tour golf shoes now if they are just Air Zoom Infinity Tour, and they're not Air Zoom Infinity Tour Next Percent, then they'll be taking over from the OG Air Zoom Infinity Tour, which probably up until now, the biggest shoe that Nike uh, released, I say that that's probably not quite right, but in recent times anyway, that carried the most hype. The release around that was mental. They were reselling for more money than they were worth, um, so on and so forth. So this, is carrying a pretty iconic name. I didn't really like the design of the last uh, sort of Air Zoom uh, Infinity Tour, the Next Percent. I was expecting to see Next Percent in the title of these, but according to Nike's website, it is not. So uh, so I'll have to take Nike at their word for that. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited about this shoe. So guys, with these first look videos, me giving you my, my take on the shoe, we start with the outside and we work our way inside. I'm not gonna go mad on the tech on this shoe, but, uh, but certainly starting off with the outside. I don't know, it says fly weave. Someone might have to correct me, but uh, we have this kind of, it's like a mesh, but then on top of the mesh, we almost have this kind of like a plastic sort of like film over the top. If I sort of get that up to the camera there, you can sort of see the shimmer, by the way, oh, beautiful. But yeah, you can kind of see this sort of like cover that you've got over the top here. Uh, you've got the double swoosh there. So you've got one iridescent swoosh and then you've got one swoosh, which is kind of, it looks suede at an angle, but it kind of, it, it might be a bit suede you know? That's nice, I, I, I do really, really like that very, very much. You've got a lot of iridescent hits, guys, around the outside of this shoe as well. So you've got some here on the, there's kind of like, you've got two either side here, sort of weird like lace hoop lace holes. You've got a little bit of it up here as well, at the top of the laces, this section through the, uh, the midfoot there, uh, and then fl flipping it around to the other side. Don't really have much of it on the inside of the shoe there, just the uh, the Nike swoosh on the inside of the shoe. Moving down to the midsole, so you do have, I don't know if this is React, can't really find information on it anywhere if it's React, but it's it's some squidgy foam that you've got in the, uh, in the back there. That's not quite boost squidgy, but pretty squidgy. You then move down to the air zoom unit that you've got in the forefoot of this shoe. Nike say that this is not enclosed because that helps with additional energy transfer. And if you were to enclose it, then you're not letting it spread and do the, the things that it's supposed to do. So that's why you can kind of see part of it externally on the shoe, which I don't really know if I like that or not. I just look at that and I'm like, if that bubble bursts, if you guys have ever had a, uh, a Nike shoe with an air zoom unit that, that bursts, like the shoe's done, and where that's on the shoe, if your foot's rolling out at all, that's quite, you know, that's it's got quite a lip to it. I don't know if you can see it there. It's kind of got quite a bit of a lip to it. And so, look, I can see your foot rolling out there and catching it. And then over time, that kind of just, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't like that. I don't think that's a, a particularly sustainable design when it comes to the shoe lasting a long time but it is what it is we'll see how that holds up and then moving guys to the outsole this outsole is very very cool you can kind of see it there it's got some iridescent sort of purpley hits to it kind of changes color in the different lights 
I, I really like it. It's very, very cool. What I don't like about it though, is the fact that you've got six integrated spikes. Nike, when are we gonna learn that integrated spikes make people unhappy when the spikes come off, which they will do because people move their feet different ways in the golf swing. And therefore, if you, a couple of these plastic bits come off, then unfortunately you're gonna be left with less grip than you had to start with. So I just like the addition of actual soft spikes in there, interchangeable ones. I just think that's a, a smarter play, but you know, that is, that's, you know, not my call. You've got Nike swoosh there on the underneath as well. And moving away, you guys, into the inside of this shoe, the, the tongue is sort of held down by, um, by it's sort of a, a bit of like a elastic sort of, kind of covering anyone who's had the uh, the Victory Tour uh, shoes of recent times will, will know what I mean, kind of keeps the tongue in place. Should also say guys, I missed the best part of the outside of the shoe, which is the tongue here. You can see the, uh, the Nike sort of, it's like, again, iridescent, kind of changes colors, where it's got the swoosh and then Nike Golf on there as well, as well as for the Endless Pursuit, which is uh, which is very, very cool. That's a, a nice touch. But uh, moving our way to the inside of the shoe, guys, you have, again, nice little detail there for the Endless Pursuit on the inside. And then, I wouldn't have known this if I didn't watch Jacques Slade's video on these. If I take the insole out, which is a bit annoying to have to do, but it does come out. By the way, just a regular, you know, no additional sort of zoom pockets or comfort or anything, just a, a bog standard uh, Nike uh, insole there. You do have the hands, very, very iconic logo. One that I think we first saw on the pack that never released, which was the snakeskin, sort of the dark green pack that for some reason was about to release and then never did and sort of have, has quickly become one of the, the more sought after Nike drops of all time. Pairs going for over a thousand pounds, crazy stuff. But uh, that is a very, very cool little detail on the inside. Now, let's talk comfort, guys. I have tried these on. I've wandered around the house a little bit in them. Unfortunately, it's chucking it down and I kind of wanted to bring this video out to you uh, sooner rather than later as to whether or not you guys want to go ahead and pull the trigger on these. Um, they're very, very comfortable. As you would expect, a load of, uh, of foam in the back here air zoom unit in the front. They're very, very nice and comfortable. Uh, one part that's not that comfortable, you can see this back heel section here. If I kind of tilt it here in the heel, you've got different color material in there. Now the two different pieces of material in there that are different to the, the sort of the actual inside of the shoe, they're a little bit rougher to the touch than, than the actual rest of the inside of the shoe. It, it I could feel it on my heel when when I had them on, so I'm kind of I don't know whether or not that's going to impact on uh, blisters at all. I am planning on wearing these shoes very very soon, so I'll, I'll obviously when I do a full review for the channel, I'll let you know whether or not they did give me blisters or not. I hope not. I kind of haven't struggled with Nike shoes for a, a very long time with blisters. I kind of haven't really struggled with any shoes with blisters recently, so um, that's just a. I just wanted to touch on that. Uh, just kind of call it out just so you guys know. Uh, sizing guys, sizing on these shoes. Now I went through to my normal Nike size, same size I wear in Jordan, same size I wear in, in all Nike. That's a nine and a half. I do wear a nine in Foot Joy and a 10 in Adidas. Um, so a bit of an indicator there. These fit quite snug. I, I kind of like my shoes to fit quite snug, but these do fit snug. I certainly wouldn't want to go down any more. They're about as small as I would sort of want them to be. Uh, it's going to be interesting when I play in them, if uh, if I sort of experience them uh, sort of being a bit achy around the toes at all. But uh, I would definitely say if you don't like your shoes to fit super snug, then I would definitely recommend checking out maybe a half size up on these. But yeah, I do think that uh, that you could stick true to your size if you like them snug. If you like them a little bit bigger, then go up half a size. I would probably say that's the, the safest bet. So guys, that is the brand new Air Zoom Infinity Tour golf shoes uh, from Nike. For me, it's great to see Nike actually doing a bit of innovation rather than just getting a Pegasus and slapping an aggressive outsole on it and calling it a day. They've been mailing it in for quite some time now. 
Uh, and so it's very, very cool to see a shoe like this uh, that's come out that actually looks like they've, they've put a bit of R&D into. So I appreciate that. I'm going to give these a good test. I'm going to bring a full review to the channel very, very soon. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let me know down in the comments. Are you liking these? Let me know. I'll catch you on another one very, very soon.